In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up and use FaceTime handoff on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. Whether you're moving from one room to another or simply want to switch devices, FaceTime handoff lets you do it seamlessly and effortlessly. Let's get started with making sure all your devices are correctly set up for this handy feature. First, we need to ensure that all your devices are signed in with the same Apple ID. This is crucial because handoff works by connecting your devices through your Apple account. So, take a moment to double check that each device has the same Apple ID logged in. Once you've confirmed that, make sure both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. These are essential for allowing your devices to communicate with each other and facilitate the handoff process smoothly. Next, we need to dive into the settings on each of your devices. Start by opening the settings app, then navigate to general, and from there, scroll down and tap on airplay and continuity. You'll find the handoff toggle here. Make sure to turn it on. Repeat these steps on all the devices you want to include in the handoff process. This ensures that each device is ready to send and receive calls seamlessly. Now it's time to get to the fun part, actually making a FaceTime call. Go ahead and initiate a FaceTime call on your iPhone or iPad. This is where you start your journey of switching devices effortlessly. With the call active, take your iPad or Mac and bring it within close proximity to the device you're currently using for the call. As you do this, you'll notice a prompt appearing on the screen of the nearby device. When this prompt appears, you're just one step away from completing the handoff. All you need to do is tap or click on the prompt and just like that, the call will switch over to the new device instantly. Whether you're moving from your iPhone to an iPad or a Mac, this process is designed to be smooth and intuitive, allowing you to continue your conversation without a hitch. And there you have it. By following these steps, you can enjoy the convenience and flexibility of FaceTime handoff across your Apple devices. Remember, the key points for a successful switch are a shared Apple ID, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on, and the handoff feature enabled in your settings. This feature truly enhances the way you use your Apple ecosystem, making your video calls much more flexible. That's all for today's tutorial. Happy FaceTiming.